What is up guys, it's Max Merck here and today I have the brand new Audi TT Coupe and I'll be showing you guys a bunch of the cool features of this car and this car has a bunch of cool features because I mean this car is just full of technology everywhere you look so let's get started so the first of the cool features is this virtual cockpit right here um, you control the virtual cockpit um, through the set of buttons right here as well as the um, control wheel right here because as you can see this car does not have any screen um, the infotainment system is right here. This is the infotainment system. You can adjust everything using these buttons right here as well as the um, scrolling wheel for your MMI system. So if I push view right here, what this does is basically it'll uh, it'll, in, it'll enlarge whatever screen you have open right now. So if I click view right now, it's gonna take me to the navigation. Um, and basically what this does is this is your Google Maps. You can choose it to show Google Maps or just a standard um, map view. But I mean, obviously I picked Google Maps because that's just it's just so cool. Can zoom all the way out. And then using the control wheel, you can basically do whatever you want with it. Um, so if I go ahead and move it around, let's say I want to go to to Europe. I can actually zoom in. Here we go, that's Europe. So let's keep zooming in. Okay, that's Paris, for example. I'll zoom all the way into Paris. And this is a full-on, you know, Google Earth, basically, because it does come with all, like, the little Wikipedia stuff. So, here, as we go in here, I think this should be Paris. So, here, we have all these Wikipedia things, pictures. I'll go ahead and click on one. I'll go ahead and click on that. It shows all the restaurants, everything you need to know. Okay, boost. Okay, I don't know what that is, uh, whatever it is, but uh, here you have additional information. You know, what it does is it, start, it starts a search and it basically just pulls up whatever um, they have on it. So that's a picture of the actual place. Very cool, and you know, for some places you can actually read about it and uh, whatever there is. It's, it's very high tech. I mean, this car also does have its own Wi Fi connection, so uh, this car is always connected. And then moving out um, throughout the uh, menus, you have your settings, you know, Audi Connect, map, navigation, telephone, media, radio, sound, and vehicle. I'm not going to go too into depth because I already have a separate video um, of the Audi A4, the new Audi A4, which has the virtual cockpit. And I, it's pretty much the same system, um, more or less. So pretty much all these are different sub menus and like, you know, you have uh, media, for example, um, you can go ahead and adjust your different media players and pretty much whatsoever it's just a standard infotainment system but it's right in front of you right here so that's what makes it so cool next up um what's really cool about this car is the actual um reversing camera and the parking sensors so if i go ahead and start up the car let's say i'm gonna go ahead and start reversing put it into reverse your backup camera with guidance lines shows up right here um, you know the guidance lines turn with the steering wheel and so does the uh this little graphic right here and then you have front and rear parking sensors so if i actually go ahead and uh, start reversing this car and another thing i like about um you know what audi does i know mercedes does this and Volkswagen as well um, basically the camera stays on so if you're driving you you're reversing and you put it in drive and then drive away or put it in park it stays on for a good amount of time it stays on for like 10 seconds right now it's in park so it should stay but um, it'll stay on for several seconds as you drive away so you still know what's going on um, at the rear of the car my only complaint with this is that it, it's not um, like Mercedes where or BMW where sometimes the the camera retracts when you put it in reverse and then goes and hides away it's always there so you do find water and stuff you know sometimes covering the camera um, so that's just one of those things you have to deal with next up in this car that's really cool are these air vents so um, basically these are your air vents um, you do have your heated seat controls here right here at the bottom of the air vents if you slide this left it closes the air vent or opens it and then by turning it like this you adjust the direction of airflow so that is very neat on its own and then that continues out throughout the rest of the car you have your you know AC settings right here uh, and you have your temperature settings auto not auto uh, and then right 
here you have your recirculation or uh, different zone settings. And that continues on throughout here as well, the passenger side. So that is a really cool design element. You know, it cl really cleans up um, the interior of this car. You know, not too many buttons, just what you need, and it's just very stylish. So another really cool thing that I like about this car is the the way Audi has done their LEDs. So um, if you right now the parking lights are on in this car. So if you look from the front of the car, you have just your standard, you know, white LED lights. And then if you approach the side of the car, orange side markers. The cool lighting also carries on to the rear of the car. So I've got the turn signal turned on right now. And uh, this is with all new Audis. What it does is it has this really cool sweeping sequential tail lights. So if you can see that. It's a little harder for the camera to pick it up, but it works very well. Next up for this car is the active spoiler. So um, on the back of this car, you have a active spoiler and it comes up when you reach a certain speed. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that speed is. It should be in the 70, 65 mile an hour range um, and it automatically comes up. And then, and then when you see slow down to a stop or a certain speed that you go below, it goes back down. Or you can just push the button right here and it'll automatically come up. So I'll show you guys what it looks like while it's down. And then if I go ahead and push the button, so in my opinion, when it's up, it just looks a whole lot better. And I apologize, it's a little dark in the video, but it looks a whole lot better in my opinion. The thing that I really like about um, pretty much all Audis in general are that all the buttons are, you can hear an audible feedback. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but everything you touch in this car has some sort of audible feedback. So that even applies to the key. So when you push the buttons, you can hear what you're doing everything has an audible feedback and um that's pretty unique to out no other car um that i've really you know spent some time with has that kind of um audible feedback to it and i really like that um it's just pretty unique to audis and it's just nice having that audible feedback when you push a button or do something so next up is uh, on the interior of the car is the cruise control lever um when you push it back to keep it disabled the light turns off to uh, adjust the speed and stuff um, when you pull it forward to you know activate it and use it these uh front lights illuminate so that's just a nice little touch you know shows attention to detail from audi next up is uh, these dome lights that they're touch sensitive so uh, i know a lot of cars these days are moving towards touch sensitive lights on the interior um, i know some bmws do it but um, i just find this really cool you know high tech and modern And then this right here isn't really a feature, but um, just the interior of this car. I'll shine a light for you guys. The interior of this car is just beautiful. I mean, I think that on its own is very cool. Um, the quilted leather it extends down, and then it's nice that Audi is also giving you that. Um, it's manual, but it's a thigh extension nonetheless. To finish this video, it uh, it's actually on the exterior of the car. Um, a lot of cars these days, when you lock the car, I know Mercedes, if you lock the car, it makes that beeping sound. And uh, that really bothers me because I know on the older Mercedes, it would make that, it was a nice high class chirping sound, kind of like the Audi does. Um, and I know BMW has like a beeping sound, Lexus. Um, this is pretty much aimed at Mercedes, only Mercedes, when you lock the car, it honks. And that just sounds very cheap to me. Um, so with this Audi, if you listen, it does a very nice chirping sound, high pitched, and it just sounds, you know, luxurious, high class. One more time. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more.